Okay. For our fall decorating time together today, I am making a gingerbread matcha latte. Yep, and it's going to go in there. And then it's going to need to have gingerbread cookie sprinkled on top. These are some very good seasonings. They're called Flavor God. Oh my gosh. I have a whole drawer. Let me show you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I love them. Fantastic. They have one that's called Chocolate Donut. And my daughter turned me on to this one. You get a bowl of strawberries. I put some um, co um, coconut whipped cream on it. And then sprinkle with this chocolate donut. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> it's a dessert. It's awesome. But I'll show you the finished product. See how frothy that's getting? I absolutely love this rubble milk frother. If I remember, I will leave a link in the description box. It's, it's a little expensive, not too bad. It's under 150, I think it's 120. But oh my goodness, you can just put everything you want to make hot cocoa in there and it just frosts the crud out of it. And then you just get this real thick and creamy hot cocoa. You don't even need to add marshmallows if you don't want to. And then yeah, it beeps. Let me see if I can do this. All right, and then it tells us it's done. And then you just see how, I don't know if y'all can see how thick that is. <laughs> And oh my gosh, I made a little bit more than I need. That's okay. I'll have two. And then I'm going to get this sprinkles, gingerbread sprinkles. And we're going to, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. We're right here. So good. Gingerbread matcha latte. Matcha green tea. Hmm. Now we're ready. Now fall decorating begins. All right, let's do this thing. Here we go. I'm turn this on. And I'm going to put in some, I don't know if it'll focus, cider, cedar, cider. Woohoo! It's going to go right in there. It's fall, y'all. Hey, y'all. It is my favorite season, fall. Well, I love Christmas, too, and summer and spring. <laughs> but anyway, I love to decorate in the fall. It's just so cozy, so warm. Um, and today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to decorate this mantle. I had it made, and so I had to have a, um, a professional make me a fireplace mantle because it's curved. Anyway, uh, he did it out of an old oak tree and so I couldn't be more pleased with it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna fall decorate. I just love everything about fall. I love when the air gets crisp and you can get you a warm drink and go on a walk. I love all the specialty drinks, the pumpkin, the ginger, um, all of it. And I just absolutely wa I love watching the leaves fall, cozy sweaters, cozy um, blankets. Just love everything about it. <laughs> so I am so tickled to be doing this video for you guys today. So come along. It's going to be a process, you know. I just I kind of dig stuff out and try it and see what I like. And so I'll just bring you along on the journey. And um, anyway, let's get to fall decorating.
get it right Trying to find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dreams
Okay, I think this is a better angle and we can see. All right, I've got this strand of garland and I'm gonna put it in my dough bowl. Try to make it even on both ends. Like that. And then, it's just, it's just simple. I like, you know, my channel's called Simple Living. <laughs> so, of course I'm gonna do simple. All right, and then we're gonna do some of this. My, uh, I think it's elephant ear garland as well. You just gotta fidget with it until you get it the way you want it. And this just takes a minute because, but then once you get it done, well, y'all, you're done. <laughs> you can just enjoy it for the rest of the uh, fall season. But it just takes a moment to get it looking. Yeah, I like it, even though it's just faux greenery, I like it to look real. And then I, I'll tell you another trick. I spread out between faux pumpkins and real pumpkins, faux gourds and real gourds. And I mix them, I integrate them in throughout my house. That way, you really can't tell the real ones from the fake ones when you integrate the both, both kinds. I wanna make this as full as possible. And you guys are getting it like, this is where my kitchen is, so I'm, I'm looking straight on, so I'll show you that, but I just wanted you to have good lighting. So you're looking from behind, really. And you just fidget with these leaves until you can get them to look pretty natural, these elephant ears. Eucalyptus would be beautiful, too. Real eucalyptus would be gorgeous. And again, just keep fiddling. Okay, I'm digging it. Then I'm gonna integrate these white pumpkins and they already have green reattached to them, which is awesome. And I got all of this at Hobby Lobby. I think right when we moved in this house, so two years ago. And then I'm just gonna start integrating the white pumpkins into my faux greenery. Just do it until you like it. Try to go. Uh oh. <laughs> so many stems and limbs. Again, just fiddle. Just fiddle until you get what you like. And I'm gonna give you a front view because I know you're getting a behind view. bend my stems so I can hook them in so they don't just like if you hit the table go rolling off onto the floor and I like the pumpkins just a heads up I like some facing this way that way some looking up you know just making them all different it adds interest when you don't just have them just sitting flat when you try put them on a curve it just adds interest to your centerpiece
kind of like it with just the white. So I may save these for somewhere else. I'm kind of digging just the white, just the three. So I'll show you. I might add these in later, but for now, I'm just digging the white. Looks good. All right, let me move you so you can see. Tea lights. Little bitty tea lights. Beautiful. All right, these are some of my favorite right here. I love them because they light, they light up. Well, this one didn't light up. <laughs> Probably gonna need to add some batteries to it and maybe it's so bright you can't see it. But anyway, <laughs> I love them because they light up and then it doesn't light up. <laughs> Anyway, I like to just kind of, I've got a pumpkin and a, a couple of pears. The battery's out of them <laughs> because it said don't store with the batteries. No wonder, but anyway, here's my pears. Here's these little, they're little fabric. They go downstairs in the, with the silo fireplace and I just kind of stack them around the fireplace. We'll do that in a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> my goodness. Here's my truck. It goes on my, on my hearth fireplace. Love this thing. We'll do that in a minute. Here's one that lights up. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with this one. We'll see. Oh my gosh. It's like Christmas. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this one. This is my wooden one. Oh, isn't that cute? I love it. I'll show you what I do with all this because I'm not putting them all on my island. I love pumpkins, white pumpkins. And my squirrel. Oh no, this ain't a squirrel, this is a, I think that, well yeah, it is a squirrel, I think. <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. All right, I'll show you where we put all that. I wanna put this thing out, just love it. Right here. Centerpiece. Yeah, that's a centerpiece. Yeah. Okay, let's do the entryway. I have this little black metal bench here and this little white shelf. And so, yeah. I already put a pumpkin pillow there in the corner. And again, I'll do close-ups when we're all done so you can see. So I think we'll just put a, a scarf, maybe tie it. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe just drape it. Maybe let some of it hang off. Okay. And then I love to decorate with actual stuff that I use, like before I go out of the house, you know, maybe I'll stick on a hat. <laughs> um, but anyway, I like to put stuff that I actually use on these little hooks. So, put a hat right there, and then I love this hat as well. Okay. 
think we'll use these. They're so pretty. They're like that sweater fabric. I think I'll use these and just kind of set them up in here. You know, with, with my raccoon or squirrel. I can't decide what it is. You let me know in the comments what you think. But maybe I'll put him, park him in here or put him up there actually. Put him up here. Okay, now I'll give you a tour of the finished products, the decorating. This is my entry as you walk in. This is what you would be greeted with. All right, then we'll go down the stairs. After you walk in the front door, you go down like six or seven stairs. And there's the mantle. The little hearth area down here found a little place for that animal. <laughs> There's my owl. I love that owl. I just think it turned out really good. Okay, and then we'll spin around. This is my coffee table. I just got one little pumpkin there and my snake plant. And that's it. Some cozy blanket. Another knit blanket, and this is my sofa. And then when you're down in the family room, you look up and there's the dining room and the kitchen. So now we'll go up the kitchen. I didn't get the basement decorated, but that's usually where grandkids play and we just kind of chill. So usually just put a, a couple of pumpkins down there real pumpkins and call it good with some blankets all right this is the island the soapstone island here's a view from it from the front door like over here the front door and then you walk in and you can either go downstairs into a sunken living room oh and there's the silo fireplace i was telling you about that we have we have three real working fireplaces we've got one here one down those stairs and one in our bedroom. Okay, here's the island. I got batteries in them, so I, you can't see it very good, but they're lit. And then this is just usually filled with seasonal veggies and fruit. If I don't have fresh flowers, this is what I'll be using for my center candle burning, another pear, that's it. And then my dish towel, pardon the dishwasher, it's running, but it's just real life. <laughs> it's like my house is bipolar, there's my summer vegetables <laughs> and my summer roses. <laughs> I get in a little bit of a hurry. And I have some fall scent in there. There's all my teas, my sourdough. I've got some gluten-free brown rice flour sourdough starter there. Okay, and then it's my other cup towel. That's my ironstone pitcher waiting for some fall flowers because I prefer to have fresh flowers on my island, but when I can't then, or I'm in between going to the store, then I'll use what I showed you. And then you guys have seen the dining room. Pretty simple. And then over there is just a pumpkin amongst my ironstone. And then I'm pickling some peppers from my garden. Some sriracha peppers and serranos. All my ironstone there. And that's a lantern that really works. So I do believe it is looking a bit like fall. And then I've just got a sheepskin there and a cozy little pillow. And then this dining room, you step down one large step and you're into the dining room and it overlooks the living room, sorry.
Anyway, just kind of simple. There's Jesus over there in the corner. Yes, the passion painter painted that. I was at a speaking at a conference and he was painting there and had a table set up and I bought his this painting. He's called the Passion Painter. He's amazing. Ever get a chance to buy anything of his? I jump on it. Okay. And then from the dining room you can see the entry. And oh, and there's my wreath. Fall wreath. And that ends the inside tour. I will be doing the outside soon. My little front porch. And I mean little. So Maybe I'll give you some ideas if you too have a little front porch. All right, stop. Uh, th <laughs> All right, stop. <laughs> All right, stop. So thank you for stopping by Simple Living and having some fun with me as we decorated for fall. It's, it's really hot outside right now. <laughs> I got my air conditioner turned down so I could feel very fallish. I almost started a fire, but I thought, nope can't do that we still have our pool open <laughs> if you can see our pool my neighbors would uh, think I'm crazy and our garden is blooming <laughs> Right.